everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Study Hall here on UFS University. My name is Tam, and I'm joined by Michael, James. What Study Hall is for the unenrolled is we've taken a bunch of your guys' UFS topics as well as some of our own, and we sit down and we discuss them for your amusement, entertainment, and knowledge. So, with that said, James, pull up the cool card. Um, a little bit of housekeeping before we uh, jump into it. Uh, the big thing I want to pimp out this week is we have 393 subscribers on YouTube, and I would love to get that number to 400. So if you have seven fake accounts, let's get on there <laughs> and let's sub to to UFSU's YouTube channel. That would be really, really mm. rad. Conveniently, I do have seven emails. Yeah? I actually do. That's really awesome yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Uh, secondly, I don't know if anybody here has noticed, I went ahead and it's going to change again just ever so slightly, but I've updated the, um, I've updated the cover photo for our Facebook page with a bunch of new shows and content that we're going to be, uh, starting to record in the upcoming week. Um, some really neat, exciting stuff that we have some ideas that I've come up with, some ideas that I've stolen from Discord. Um, <laughs> I'm actually that's actually like my most excited one, um, which what we can talk about off camera. He's stealing other people's ideas. I did not. Uh, so I st I stole. They were given it. to him. Right. I asked permission. Somebody they were talking about this idea. I'll just I'll just say it now. So the the idea is um, being a hype man for a deck, right? Um, and so what I'm calling it is uh, the Best Damn Deck series. And it's me going through all the positive points of every post-Bebop character. And, like, why you should play that game. Why is Jet the best damn deck in the game? Do you want to stun every card in your opponent's staging area? Jet's the guy. Mill two and punch and Judy the shit out of everyone? Jet's the guy. Do you want your opponent to not do anything? Breaker four every turn? I, Jet's the, the guy. guy. I will be. He's the upset best. He's the best damn deck in UFS. If we don't, if Mister Damnation is not the host of that, not you, Mister Damnation. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Hold on. Mister Damnation as the host of that would be sick. That's going to actually fuck my voice. Ooh, and then you play an air ground smash. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Briggs is the most damn. Is the best damn dick in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even right there, really fucked like me. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that idea. Though. Uh, you know what? I will write it down. I'll write it down, and <laughs> we'll really funny. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. If you, if you guys want to see Mr. Damnation do some videos, <laughs> leave some love. That actually sounds really cool. I don't want to be here for all those. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting. Um. Not to mention, I want to do some uh, like deck doctoring stuff. I want to do some just like just like some cool community stuff. Um, but anyways, enough about me. We talked about for four minutes. Michael, tell me about your weekend UFS, man. Uh, okay, well, I l I love the deck doctor idea. Uh, I mean, I know that's not about my week, but just because like I used to get Beckett magazine all the time, I don't and know they had is. deck doctor. Yeah, uh, it was like an old you like. Before eBay was a thing, like that's how you got your card prices. Oh, okay. Like, back in the day, and yeah, they had like once a week just Deck Doctor. It was super sweet, and they'd write like two whole pages of just like why you should take this card out and like why you should put this card in. So we uh we for sure would not be doing um written content because uh, I can't write to save my fucking life. No, it's, but I can talk on a podcast. My job. That's yeah. my job. Yeah. No, yeah, it's just it's just what they did because they were <clears throat> they were a magazine. Yeah, you know, like this was before internet. Internet truly. I'm our script right. I've already got the thumbnails made for Best Damn Deck and Deck Doctors. Sweet. Um, we just have to get submissions of people's decks in in order to doctor to them. fix them. Okay. Sweet. Doctor them. Um, and it's not going to be all negative stuff. I made sure that right in the in the description or in the in the pitch to these two that it was both compliments and corrections. Yep. For sure. How was your weekend, UFS? But my week's been uh, pretty good. Uh, yesterday I got messed up at LWG, but I entered like late with a loss, so really only played two rounds. I went one one. Playing on a premier store event? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was really cool. Who ended up winning? Uh, I don't know. I left. Makes sense. I I left because uh, it was top four, and it was probably gonna take at least an hour. Okay. Because that's how okay. long Kevin Who and uh, got Miles in top four before it was Miles, uh, Mark, Miles playing Jacob, again. yeah, and then. Uh, Alex Couch. Uh, me and Alex were playing for third. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It was super funny. Uh, like the third round, Miles realized that like covert intent would be good in his deck. 
Yeah. Know. Yeah. And that's like something we saw like a week and a half ago. It's pretty sweet. Cards, cards insane in Ken. Holy shit. Cards just <clears throat> insane. Cards insane yeah, in Ken. That's true. So uh, here's the thing is like in Ken, I think it's like maybe like a one of, right? Maybe a two of at best. Because, yeah. you know, you draw your whole fucking deck. But at the same time, to counterbalance, when you check a one as Ken, your turn's over anyways. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking kill me. Well, Ken's already a kill them or kill yourself deck. Yeah. 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 Like you either lose or you win. True. It's not like it's not like you're playing no mid game of like I'm gonna poke you till I get a chance to kill you. It's now you're I, either dead or you're not. I do gotta say, like, and and I I hate to give Travis a compliment on this podcast because I never do. Uh, Travis's kin deck that he made, I actually felt like it was almost impossible to beat. The eighty card one. Yeah. I didn't think Straight so. up, it was playing Coffee Samba Missile Launcher, um, and it was like it was it was a classic Travis deck. It was about this thick. <laughs> and, and he was just like, I'll, I won't deck myself out. You'll deck out before me, and I'm drawn to in all of these. Like Dang. it was super good. He like wanted us going to deadlock. He had plenty of deadlock support for it, and it was just like, oh, coffee samba. You'll draw two. I'll draw two. I'll draw two. Wow. Right. <laughs> oh, I'll multiple out this coffee samba and then draw on all of them, because it's, it just looks for the name. Draw, 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 draw. Wow. And then imagine. Covert intent. <laughs> draw like five more. Draw five more. Click your whole clear your whole card pool. Um. Anyways, uh. Besides that, anything um, else have been exciting this week? Nope. Just grinding up matches. Okay. Yeah. James, how's your week? Uh, I edited videos. Sick. That's it. What do you got? What What came out this past week? Uh, what came out this past week was just as well as the Solomon. What's coming out next week? Um, Eugenia. As next well f- as. Next week's the first week of the July, right? Yeah. yeah. Eugenia and Silica, then it's Rimless and Tese, Torn, and I'm going to need a Zolt. I need to make Zolt and the other characters. Is he just not doing Dijonet? No, I need I need those decks. Oh. I don't, I don't have a deck list for those. Okay. We can figure it out for sure. Yeah. Um, my week in UFS has been fine. I have been playing a lot of Scorpion. I went to locals and did not win a single game. So let's go ready for Rockford. Um, <laughs> you got a ninety-nine one matchup versus me. I didn't win a single game at locals on on Sunday. Um, and then I played a little more, and I'm trying to figure out the rest of Tyler's sideboard for Remilus for Rockford. Um, which um, you, I told you you're gonna have some stiff competition, right? Jeremy Ray. Jeremy Ray is going to be going and playing Remilus. It's going to be pretty fucking rad. So have fun with that. But he's he's kind of playing like a real basic bitch Remilus. He's playing like Iron Knuckles and Irradiates and shit like that. Fuck that. We're playing three-speed attacks, baby. Fucking getting in there. Thanks for the idea. Yeah. Um, woo. Yeah, but besides that, like, week's been fun. Let's just uh, jump into the first topic. Uh, topic number one is going to be uh, the super sick Ken card that uh, was spoiled that James is going to Pull back up right now. Kazuyu Repa? Kazuyu Repa. Yeah. Nice memory. It is a 6-3 with a 1 high block, 4 mid for 6. It is all order void. Kick, multiple 1. If this attack deals damage, draw X cards and your opponent discards X of their momentum. Discard cards until the number of cards in your hand equals 2 or less than your character's hand size. X equals the amount of damage this attack deals. Man, X is going to give it to you. Is it the exact same what? wording? Yeah. Oh, it's just not on Ultra yet. No. Nope. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I don't know if it's the exact same wording, but it does the same thing. Um, yeah, draw X, then discard down to hand size, and then uh, clear all of their momentum. It seems really, really good. It yeah. seems super, super good. What are some interesting things that you can do with this card? So I, I think that like a cool reptile deck... Would be really nice because, like, you're already playing fatalities to get free momentum, and then you can reveal like the repa and then the like anything else to make him discard a card, and then like you're showing him the repa. So like, oh, yeah. you have to hold your block. You have to hold your block for this. Yeah. Or else, like, I'm just gonna draw more cards. But against reptile, there's no holding blocks. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's like, oh well, I guess this did do nine damage. Huh? I'll draw I'll nine draw and then discard these. three. Awesome. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, and then it's just gonna get fat with the reptiles effect. Um, so not to like beat this dead horse, 
but it's just like a like a is your mic muted? Okay, not to beat a dead horse, but like a it, it seems like a really good covert intent card to just dig for mo more coverts yeah. because like playing this thing on a six at the end of a chain is like really really nasty, and so like maybe you tapped out just just a little bit. Um, s I <laughs> You can just click the button. Um, so, like the thing, the thing that like you could, you could do is um, figure out how to make this card not counter as progressive for the last one, and then covert at the end, discarding one of your momentum from fatality or like moonset under order, and then pitch your whole card pool, draw even more cards, have a bunch of advantage. Like it has all, so they're just not over yet. Yeah, and then I hit them with card, another repa. This card won't be that card won't be legal for too long. Yeah, but like at at that point. Yeah. It not over yet will not be legal by the time that card comes out. You sure? I'm positive. September? Yeah, because we're having a pre release in July. That's right. Yeah, yeah it won't be legal. Thank goodness. I'm tired of that set. <laughs> Wait, which There's one? almost no cards from that set that has played that often. I'm so done with that set. I'm just ready for some new shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm just ready. No, it's uh it's really it's a cool card, but like more importantly, it's an old card. If you go and you look at of this card on Ultra, um, it's not the the printing that we have. Our printing has this really sick animation of Ken from Street Fighter V um, doing uh, his ultra rare, uh, ultra attack, and uh, this card art is from Extended or Legacy. It's, what is um, or both? Legacy. It's, legacy. it's a Legacy card, right? Um, and so this brought up this brought yeah, up an legacy. interesting point. Uh, for James and this kind of like transitions into topic two ish uh, of like should extended cards come back um, oh another thing that we can do with this card um, is this card this card forces like how do you how do you beat this card this card forces Venomous to like exist now right like you just yeah, have to the same thing about Covert though well yeah but like sure we're playing both in this deck Th this <laughs> this might make Ken be played off of not fire this might be make can be played off of all or void, right? Like this is like a really sick big attack. Like it's better than Ken's or Violent Tatsumaki. That card blows. Like okay. that card sucks. That card's playable in one character. Okay. That card's playable in one character. Name it. Goro. Acceptable. All right. <laughs> Thank you. My own, not even Ken. No. It's so Ken doesn't build momentum. So Goro, the reason it's so good in him is you're like you stack a couple face downs and you like throw three big beefy attacks and then Tatsumaki's got like what multiple two on or some yeah. shit and you can multiple for free basically. enhance remove your hand from the game add the top two from your deck to your momentum and then and then from there multiple and so you're like big attack big attack you just go missile launcher missile launcher missile launcher, missile launcher. Uh, Tatsumaki. It's a one mid for six or some shit. So it's a one mid for ten, one mid for ten, one mid for ten. You better fucking block them all after you just block three missile launchers. Ugh. You'll cycle yourself twice, milling eight <laughs> on everything. <laughs> eight on launcher, Gross. eight on launcher, eight on launcher, four, four, four. That's like your whole deck, man. You better fucking kill them then. I hope they die. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you just shake their hand. Like, yeah. oh, what a gentleman. You are that man. Yeah. Um, but no, like, uh, what, what are other ways to, to stop this card? To stop it? Uh, Kieran Soul. Kieran Soul is probably the best way to stop it. Oh, yeah, minus one speed. If and blocked, then, no damage. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James, what do you think? Um. Thrilling. Yeah, Thrilling. I got nothing. I think you think, like, one of the coolest parts about this card is if you can catch in an off zone, like, using face of a monster or something, and avoid to change its zone or whatnot. Um, it's, like, a really sick momentum dump. Even if they half block it, you discard three of their momentum. Which is pretty good. This, this card resets their whole momentum, which is fantastic. Um, yeah. They. What are you looking for? Oh, I like it. I like it. I got, I got an idea. The evil genius brain's working. Um, but no, I think I think that's really really interesting, especially like I was gonna say for decks like Jetta, right? But for uh, for any sort of missile launcher deck, if you like can figure out how to throw this card and then just bop them with it, it seems it seems solid. I wish I could bop people with it. You can. Well, not in the deck I'm currently so, playing. So when you play Gil. It has all in order and has two keywords. This thing gets 
three speed in him. Oh yeah, that's and right. gains two life. So it's a six mid for seven six. mid for six. Oh, seven mid for six. Seven Ooh. mid for six without anything else, without any, without trying at all, and then you bop them, and then you draw six, six cards, and then discard back down. And if they blocked it, Ooh. you draw another card. <laughs> you draw Ooh. a different, one, just one. Yeah, this card's gonna be really, really good in Gil. So now your opponent needs to have momentum to play that attack. To use the ability, they have to be able to discard momentum. <laughs> With invoking oh, the, blood magic? Yeah. Invoking when your opponent... Well, read it out loud. Your opponent must discard one momentum as an additional cost to play abilities that would discard any number of your, any yeah. number of your momentum. Yeah. They would, if you have any of these on board, they just have to discard momentum. If they don't have it, they can't do it. Well, they can't play the enhance, right? Yeah. But they can still, like... They can play the attack. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. The attack isn't the difficult part. It's You're right. Them, it's them getting to do free shit. Yeah, I dig that a bunch, actually. That's real wow. cool. Cool find. Um, but yeah, not Gil gets to play the shit out of this. Ivy gets to play the shit out of this. Um, and stack what she draws, or like a stack a six on top, and maybe, then maybe guilty thrones. Yeah, yeah, right. That's sweet. Um, hell, I mean, like uh, uh, this card's really good versus Dejanet, right? This card, yeah. this this card will will melt their whole momentum unless they have go, have a perfect block. Yeah, like you ca you catch Dejanet with with something. Um. With right not blocks. holding the right blocks, and she's going to melt her whole her own her whole old momentum to try and put this thing back in your hand. So you'll burn life in order to play this card, which is on a six. So that sucks. But like, if we're late enough in the game that she's got what four, five, six momentum, it's like what turn two for her. Um, <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, like she she, ha the, I have to waste my whole thing here now, or else your attack's gonna poke me, and I'm gonna discard through momentum. I can't do that. Not a station in. Especially after you get to draw cards, too. Right. It's more attacks to just throw. Right. Yeah. Oh, shit. Zolt has order, right? Yeah. He yeah. can multiple on this thing. <laughs> and poke him with it. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> Pew! <laughs> <coughs> yep. This card's cool. I dig it a bunch. How do you guys feel about um, extended cards coming into standard format? Old cards that are being reprinted. I'm down. I come from a game that spits out nothing but reprints every other <laughs> set every other year, so um, I think like this is really cool because it just like helps. Um, like even if it's like not an amazing card, you know, like Immortal Knowledge, but then like you can get something like Iron Knuckle, which like is good like at the start of the game for Torn, and then it's like good late game for Selinka, and like. So they're they're bringing in like older cards to like help instead of just like oh here's like an old cool promo like mm -hmm. most of the cards have seemed pretty good yeah like that they the promos that they've done like Skull Barrier or Iron Knuckle uh, Mortal Knowledge is fine Mortal Knowledge is fine like that's yeah. like the best we can say about yeah. it and then the Repa yeah the, so so that's that's really like where where it comes in is like as somebody who doesn't own any of the copies of these cards because um, you don't have any correct. No. Yeah, it's it's, it's late it is super extended. it's super super like old. gone. It's old. It's old. It's old shit. It's older than my mom, Tracy. Oh. It's older than Tracy. Um, it's a uh, don't at my mom. So it's uh, a <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's one of those privileged things. That if you go to an event, you get this thing right, um, which is uh, really lame. For the what two hundred people that are existing, what we have to get all two hundred people to go to this PTC and slash or support the secondary market really hard. Like, what happens if? So I don't think this card is a game breaking card by any means. But what happens if they act if they print a fatality level card, if they print a Nutcracker level card and say this card's from two thousand seven. Yeah, you, and you get like two twenty man PTCs. That's older. That my that's older than my mom. <laughs> right, and you get two twenty man PTCs. We got. What maybe a hundred copies of this card floating yeah, around? Pretty limited. Yeah, but isn't that what they like take? Don't don't they take the PTC promos from the like previous year and like that's what they have at Worlds of Redemption or no? So Asterix, yes. yes. They don't. Th this is the first year they've done singular cards as like reprints for PTC promos. Oh, okay. Before that, it was just here's a bunch of packs. <laughs> okay. Here's a bunch of shit. And then before that was store promos. So like. They would have, for two months, you'd have one promo that was the promo you'd hand out. Sorry. I just, okay. I, I, you were excited to stand up. When So, like, uh, before we'd have, uh, like, there'd be six promos for, like, uh, one year. 
and it'd be for two months you had this promo, two months be this one, and it was like Patriot Stand, Spire Suplex, and they were two of them. Like you, if you got like it was like top, it was like the top of the if you got the top of your bracket, you got the one promo and the other one. Everybody else, everybody, the rest, everybody got the one. It's like there were smaller amounts of one promo, bigger amounts of the other, just because it only went to top players and the other ones. But those cards were not this card, right? Okay, <laughs> this yeah, card, yeah. Those cards were... In my opinion, the best card out of that entire promo set was Patriot Stance. Uh, Spider Suplex. You're wrong. I think Patriot Stance. You're better. incorrect. Patriot Stance says commit for one. Commit to pass one. Spider Suplex can't be played in every deck. Pa- Spider Suplex kills motherfuckers. And, does, and anti-kills yourself. The only thing Spider Suplex has been good in is Elizabeth. The only thing Spider Suplex is good in is Scorpion. And under death and uh, z- zom- I don't give a right shit about Tyler characters. giving a spider suplex six damage and gaining three seems nuts why right? aren't you playing it Tam I want to play evil so <laughs> <laughs> I think the best I can spend is Elizabeth I, I, I honestly I just want to argue to argue with you but like you're right um, <laughs> if you want we'll build an Elizabeth deck Michael I don't even know who Elizabeth don't. is don't 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 and we're not going to talk about it. Extended cards coming back. Um, next week, we're going to do a little bit of homework and talk about some cards that we we would be okay coming back in from extended into the game as reprints. Examples would um, be like Big Cyclone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, Big Cyclone, Cyclone. Is, is a legacy extended card that they brought back and printed in Platinum. But here's the thing, though. like The difference between that card and this card is the fact that it was printed in a set. It was set. printed in a set as yeah. opposed to, hey, here's 40 people that get to play this card. It's just, it's just going to... F- like almost force more people to come to these events because like if you don't come to one of these two events you gotta buy the promo yeah i would understand like if at the end of like september january february march april march october right that's the month after september Fuck, i don't know september october november yeah. December. so like at the at the end of october all of the, all of the promos for september went up on on the uh, redemption I'd be fine with that. You get one month of exclusivity. I don't know because, because like, what happens? What happens when the PTC is at the end of the month, right? Yeah, you get you get all of October. Oh, okay, okay, okay. At the end of October, all the September ones are legal. So the other the other thing is is like we could do the same type of thing, but make it at a premier store event level, yeah. right? Um. Like the goal is to get more people to get premier store events and make people make players want to have make their home store a premier store event. Um, going to a premier store event and instead of getting X copies of whatever card, you get X copies of this sick card, of this old extended, this new brand new card that's never been seen or played before. Oh, asterisk. New world. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anybody's trying to get rid of copies of these? I, I, I'd like four. Yeah. I want four of them. For sure. If you have old copies, not the not the September ones, I'll hopefully get my own. But I do want old copies of these. Yeah, that'd be cool. At least four. Yeah, just four. Yeah. If you have more that you're willing to get rid of, I might, maybe, but at least four. And I think the easiest way to get a hold of the people who have these copies is honestly just ask around on Facebook. There's so many Facebook uh, groups. There's the um, face uh, UFS uh, Universal Fighting System North American group. You have a UK group. You've got the Rockford Trade group. You've got um, I'm oh, sorry, the Rochester Trade Group, and you've got the Rockford Group. Those are like the primary pages that you would want. Yeah. And slash or jump on Discord, which I got you that invite. Yeah. Right? Um, if you need an invite to the, the UFS Discord, uh, hit me or James or now Michael up on Facebook and ask us, and we'll be able to get you it's an like, invite. Uh, what? It's just like... <laughs> Michael's like... <Nothing. laughs> Hit up Michael exclusively. Don't talk to me or James. You only oh God, you're like only gonna talk time. to Michael now. Um, is there anything else you guys want to say about extended? I think we're gonna jump into extended next week a little deeper. We um, talk about our our uh, homework. The, the cards we want to come back. Yeah. Um, but at the at the same time, like I'm excited for this to work. It seems really hype, but I don't want it to be another platinum. Right? I don't want that to accidentally happen. Where platinum was really cool. In the front, and it kind of fucked a lot of people in the end. Yeah, um, I really like this idea, and I'm not name names or say anything bad. But I I hope like that they don't mess it up. Yeah, because I I think like this has like a lot of potential to like bring back like 
old cards that like would be good but like not game breaking and like it's like a small way to like reintroduce like reprints to like the players that play and not just the players that play to play right um because you know like one day we could get like a nutcracker like this yeah may maybe maybe not because of the k and the cracker but like yeah yeah that's kind of like a mortal Kombat thing right <laughs> I can't. But like a card like that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, one day. I mean, this was this was a Street Fighter card and a Street Fighter card, right? So like, down the road, we get another Mortal Kombat set and just we just reprint. What if we just get absurd strength? <laughs> what if what if we just get absurd strength? Shut up. I'd rob a bank. <laughs> uh, there was a little bit of a history lesson for you. There was a huge, huge controversy whenever uh, Gateway, Shuffle. Gateway Shuffle came out. <laughs> That it was actually going to ruin the game UFS because it reprinted Absurd Strength. It was, it was closer. To here, I'll, I'll read Absurd Strength real quick. So Gateway Shuffle is a two-five uh, action with not a block that says enhance your weapon tech range attack gets six damage. Uh, stack the top card. You just Who cares? Um, enhance. Only fate worries about that. Enhance your opponent's or the attack gets minus five damage. Those yeah. are the two abilities on it, which two very strong abilities. Like and then the absurd bunch. strength was a one five with a one mid block that Gross. said your attack you know it has earth evil and fire your attack with printed damage four or more gets plus x damage x equals your opponent's hand size x equals your opponent's hand size yeah yeah so it'd be like hey this attack gets plus seven this attack gets plus five so like it's just like absurd like it's absurdly strong Dude, that'd be so good in torn I know and then R after your opponent gains one or more momentum during the combat phase due to one of their card effects. That player loses X vitality and discards X of their momentum. X equals their momentum. Wow. <laughs> just you just, wow. This would be so good in Torn. Yeah. This uh, card would actually be okay right now. Yeah. But it like apparently would just like break the game. and I've, I've Giving something plus six damage was just insane. But I think at the same time, like a lot of throw decks existed. And I'm not sure that like throw decks matter right now. And the three <laughs> and the three. So that said on any on any four plus damage attack, as opposed to this one says uh, weapon tech ranged. And so they were like, just worried about first turns. They could care less about how much damage you gave. They didn't want to die on turn one. Yeah, I I hear you, but like, it doesn't give speed. Yeah, it doesn't. Speed's how you kill people, not damage. Yeah, like I said, that card is not a three hundred dollar card. You're right. Yeah, that is, is, this that is, card was not going to break. This the is game. this is one of the many many times, James Stevens, that you were correct. <sighs> yes. Air five. Yes. Here, I'll transfer it. Oh yes. Teamwork. Um, so with that, we're going to go ahead and take a small break as we change out some equipment and move on to the last two topics of the show. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, we're going to jump into topic three. Holy shit! That new Mortal Kombat card. Round card one. That, round one fight. That fight. sick. Uh, it's a 2-5 unique with a 2 high block. Uh, it says... R, remove after your opponent plays... After an attack with an... With a name that's already been played, remove that other copy from the game. I thought I was going to be able to do it without looking it up. Let's see. And then Desperation Hands, your opponent loses one. It's like if your opponent plays an attack that has shared an attack with a previous name this turn, you may discard it from their card pool. I think it's remove that card. Or yeah, it is remove that card, yeah. Yeah. But James is looking it up for real. But I believe that's how the wording is on the first part. Um... We'll just clarify. Mortal Kombat response, remove, colon. After one plays an attack that shares a name with another attack that has been played this turn, remove it. Good shit. Good Man, shit. My memory's on fire Dead today. lucky your, your attack. Your opponent loses a time. Oh, my God. That's, like, my favorite part, dude. Beep. I was so excited to stack Beep. four of these up, and then I saw that pesky little word. Unique. You. <laughs> Neek. <laughs> I was getting, I was getting the pesky uh, watermark symbol. Yeah, that was that was fucking me. Up. Sorry, I put you on blast on on Facebook. I saw for that. It. Thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I saw that. Let me buy. Um, it's a, uh, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a, it's a good you card. You can't play anything that's not Mortal Kombat though. Card sucks. Game sucks. The game sucks, man. Well, time to build Aaron Black again. <laughs> Honestly, like yeah, I think I think it's a solid it's a solid card for every Mortal Kombat character. Like it, it reminds me a lot of the Bebop card, but the Bebop card even seems like a little less powered, right? The Bebop card uh, after your opponent plays an ability on their character that it can't, it gets canceled, yeah. which is unbelievably strong. Um, that card's not unique. Police lineup isn't. This one is because you know this nukes an attack out of their hand. Like this card in like a deadlock Molina. This card plus face of monster says that you're not allowed to go to deadlock ever. 
This card in Fade, just like yeah. This card with Fade, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Ermax you, Teleport Punch. Yeah, you're not allowed to play that again. Door Dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I hope there's not a symbol that just a deck can play all these cards because that'd be really annoying. Void. Oh my god. It's why I wanted but to play hey, in Akuma. Hey, but hey, but hey. He's on Mortal Kombat. But hey. <laughs> right. But hey. The Void symbol sucks. Let's give him something. You know. Yeah, let's give him something. This card only has three infinity symbols. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, but like, if but void void's not a good symbol at the moment. Like, it's it's very very hard to play a a yeah, not, playable void deck. But they're not doing it for the void symbol. They're yeah, just, yeah, they printed a card and it just happens to work for the void. Yeah, symbol. yeah. No, which is like that's why I'm fine with it. That's why I'm fine with covert intent. <laughs> Card's broken and it should not be printed. We'll figure it out. Um, I've not played against a real one yet. I haven't built a real one yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I think this card. I think this card's fantastic. I think this card is super, yeah, super red. I think it's a, really it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful. I'm loving the promos they're using for the premier store events. So good. Like the Street Fighter so one good. was. So like everyone hates on the Street Fighter one. I think the Street Fighter one's really good. I think it's fine. Is that the the draw one? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that card. It's the deadlock yeah. draw one. I, I, I wanted really to play that card, and you're like, this card's bad. I didn't say that. I'll never say that. I think that card's actually better than people think it is. Are you playing a Street Fighter character? No. That's then, the problem. With the well, no, it was when I was first trying to make a deck. Yeah. Like before turn torn. And like the problem I with the card is Street Fighter's not a great set. Yeah. That's that's the issue. Like there, Street Fighter's not playable. There are like two playable characters from Street Fighter, maybe three. Go on. That's Akuma. It. Vega and No. What but Cammy. You think Cam I still think Cammy's playable. Okay. She gets to play a free attack. Okay. You know how good a free attack is? <laughs> look at this face. <laughs> look, at, look at his face. <laughs> Question. Yeah. So then Street Fighter versus Dark, Fa- Dark Stalkers, count. that doesn't count, even though it says Street Fighter? It is its own watermark. So, so if you watermark. look at the... Will you pull oh, up the FS Ultra? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, does it make sense? The 30th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's, that's what matters. <sighs> um, Darn. No, we don't have to anymore. He fi- we figured it out. So there's a watermark in the bottom left corner of every card. Um, it's Cammy and Jury, by the way. Cammy and Jury? Yeah. Those are my three. Vega, Cammy, Jury. Interesting. I think... I don't know. In all honesty, with the release of Covert, I actually think Sagat's playable, too. Oh, okay. Tiger Cannon. <laughs> no, that's Guile. <laughs> that's Guile. <laughs> oh, that's right. This is... <laughs> Sorry. Boom. <laughs> boom. Sonic boom. Honest, Flash honestly, with boom. the release of Nutcracker, Guile's pretty okay, too. Nutcracker's fine. Nutcracker okay. says charge. Guile's fine. You can ask... You can ask uh... Here, go down the list. I think... Oh, Blanca. We forgot about <laughs> Blanca. How could we forget how, about Pikachu? Oh, how dumb are we, huh? I mean, I, I'll always love Balrog. <laughs> Balrog sucks. Shut up. Balrog sucks so, so much. <laughs> it's so awful. But he's so cool. Minus three speed plus three damage. That's all his attacks. You want to block it? Cool. How <laughs> do you want to block this one? All right. Yeah. You're sick. You're you're gonna kill him with smites and nipners. Block one more, Block one more. <laughs> you gotta kill him with smites and nipners. This Mortal Kombat card is really sick. Yeah. Uh, the best things it does is it makes sure that you can't get double fatalityed. Um, Fade's a really sick play. Mortal Kombat. So does that mean the Knicks promo is going to be? Probably Dark Star versus Street Fighter one. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah. It's throwing me off. That's a new set. Street Fighter Dark Strikers. Yeah, yeah. It's a throwing bit. me off hardcore. They, um, had, they just made a different set because the characters aren't the same. The last thing I could think of is like, just as like a solid defensive piece. Like, how many times when I was playing as Dejanet did I sculpt three Nutcrackers to kill you? A lot. That says I have to sculpt four. That's what that card says. It's like, I can deal with two Nutcrackers, I can't deal with three. Oh, did you play the third one? Get the fuck out of here. That's not a card anymore. See ya. I don't like that this helps, like, evils, like, defensive playability, though. Like, Shinnok can play this. Yeah. Like, with parries. Yeah. Shinnok can definitely play this with parries. Shinnok with parries, with uh, fades. And teleport punch. Yeah. Yeah. Teleport punch also void. Does not sound fun. Shinnok has... Shinnok does not avoid. He is. Oh, I thought Ermac was evil. My bad. Yeah, no, he's void. My bad. Um, But you also get uh, Quan Chi's Fortress. Yeah. So you go parry. Cool, add it back to hand. You play it again, you go. Parry doesn't add it. Parry discards it. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. <clears throat> but whatever. Get them to play it again. They play it again. Then you go Quan Chi's Fortress. Remove it. Do you have a third one? Just Sucks. Can't play it. Can't do Fortress. <clears throat> it's like it's like cards. this card's like Fortress, but better, right? Because like yeah. after they after they play it, uh, you're just like uh, actually just get rid of I it. I think instead. Fortress is just tight a little bit better, just because you get to keep it. Get to keep Fortress. Yeah, that's fair. And like you can use Fort like it, most of the time if you're playing Fortress, you're already a desperation character anyways. Yeah, and you're losing three to put you at desperation. So yeah, like, you do your function with that. That's fair. That's fair. I hate this card. This card's good. Stop. <laughs> I know. That's why I hate it. It's because it's good, and Shinnok's gonna get to play it. And there's nothing I can do to it's stop okay. it. It's okay. Shinnok's not that good. It's true. He it's only cool. got third at Worlds. Yeah. Only third. Only third. Only third. It means Asimov and Katarina is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm so mad at you for that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking blew this world. Um, <clears throat> fuck you. No, I think uh, I didn't blow shit. <laughs> I I think this card is is rad. I'm excited to yeah. see. I'm excited to see like, oh shit, this in Katana. Oh my god, discard. like <laughs> I'll pay for discard. I'll pay for discard it. You want to play another one? All right, I'll discard that one. You want to play another one? Parry. You want to play another one? <laughs> Fucking play another one. <laughs> play it again. <laughs> Run it again! Oh my god, this card versus Goro says they can't pick up two of the same shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like there's there's so many sick plays with this card. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I We need we need them. You can't play it in Akuma. And you can't play in Akuma, punk. Um, I mean, you could. Tell me about Rockford, ladies and gentlemen. About Rockford? Tell me about Rockford. Hmm. Well, apparently, it's supposed to be the biggest PTC of the year. It's going to be. Yeah, for sure. Well, asterisk because all the PTCs this year have, have happened. No, I know it is. Well, currently and more than likely, it's the only be the contender PTC. that could possibly happen is uh, Omaha. Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, but Miles is not campaigning nearly as hard as uh, Chris as Chris is, and unless there's some something hidden in some contract that says you have to be at the Omaha PTC if you're a legendary sponsor player, like. Not everybody's going to be forced to to be out there, right? Garrett Brett's traveling asterisk. Garrett Brett's traveling from Canada to come play in the Rockford PTC because everyone's going because everybody's going to be there. This is going to be a fucking slobber knocker of an event, and I didn't win a single match this past local. Nice, <laughs> not a game. <laughs> um, yeah, lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but this uh this event's going to be massive, and so what I want what I want to talk about here is how do you take and what do you need to do to prep for a 60 person event versus a, your regular ass 20 person event? What are the things that you need to do and accomplish? And Tyler, I think it'd be really rad if you wanted to pipe in on your mic at all, any, any of this and join into that fourth mic by all means. Uh, I think you have to treat this more of like a major than a, than a PTC. Okay. You have to think of this more as, I'm walking in expecting to I'm expecting to lose a bunch of games. Like okay. I think you should ex, you should not ex, like 20 20 person PTCs are a little different in the sense of there's only 20 people. Like if you go in a group the odds are you're going to face a lot of your own people. Yeah. Going into a 60, the odds are you maybe play one maybe. Yeah. Like it just like the amount of people changes so much about like how the like pairings work, how Tops is going to work because we're going to have seven rounds, top 16. It's going to be sick. That's the goal. That's, top that's 16. my favorite part. It's going to be a top 16 minor. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, ex I'm excited for it in that regard because of the fact that there's going to be such a diverse group of people that it is going to be like a small major, right? Yeah. Like when you – we all three watch professional Super Smash Brothers yes, Melee. Yes, we do. Like we all – enjoy yeah. that game when we go and we watch a tournament that only has like one of the gods at it like the tournament's fine but like we know what's gonna happen right we know that when jeremy ray shows up to a 25 person event jeremy ray is probably gonna go win that ptc jeremy ray is a very good player and tyler has to fight diversity against him at rockford <laughs> <laughs> what a dork <laughs> um but like hey jeremy ray is gonna be this event and so is miles tyler and so is Phil Birch. And so is Garrett, and Brett. So, Garrett Brett. And so is uh, Dave Brover. Wagner, Dave, who's going down. Dave Wagner. And yeah. so Kevin is, Brover. and so is, and so is. 
going to be loaded. This is a stacked fucking event. And because it's it's just small enough that it's not 100 people, you could fight three of them in a row, right? Like back to back to back. Reminds me it actually reminds me of my uh my Nationals run where I fought uh Jeremy followed by uh Ben Shoemaker and I had no idea who either of those people were. It was uh I was playing Nightman because fuck me, right? And uh Nightman's <laughs> not a bad character. All right. Um we're not going to get into this <laughs> as somebody who played fucking seven rounds with him. Oh, we're going to talk about it. Um it was to the point where he was like he was using an ability to draw one, discard one with his seven cards in his hand. He was discarding attacks, and I was like, "Oh, that's not good for me, huh?" <laughs> he goes, "No, it's not good for you. <laughs> These are my bad attacks in my hand. <laughs> These are my good attacks that I'm playing." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, I'll discard this wing slash off wing slash." Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, but not like because because it's like. It's like an almost major. All these killers are going to be in a small room with each other. And they're going to be in a small room with them. <laughs> and so so either they all dodge each other and the event is like stacked for them or there's going to be a bloodbath and Kevin Boberg is going to accidentally get booty bopped by, by Jeremy Ray and Phil Birch and be like, oh, well, Kevin's out of the tournament now. Shit. Yes. Six top sixteen is gonna make it. Looking for those upsets. Looking for those upsets. Honestly, like I, like I'm super excited to see like all the new blood that's that's gonna be coming in. Can't Ooh. wait to taste like, it. It's top sixteen. Chris is. I'm excited for you. Chris has done a done a, such a phenomenal job with his YouTube channel, plus all the uh, the online marketing that um, I think like the main reason it's so big is because of that. Like it's going to be a massive tournament because of his channel, because of the content that he's producing. Um, and so, like, he's he's having a bunch of new players flock to this event as this is going to be my first one and all these. And we say killers because they're really good at the game, but these are some of the nicest people in card games. Like, they're, like they're, so, they're so rad. Um, so, if you're watching, you never met us, come up and say hi. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Talk about your deck. That big, big deck you got. Um, Tam's only game on PTC weekends. Whatever. <laughs> Well, me and Ben Shoemaker do is none of your business, James Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what uh, what questions do you have? You've only been to you've been to World, which is huge. You've been to a singular PTC. Um, what experience can you or what advice can you give to a new player trying to go to this event? Uh, so I'm very fortunate, like in the situation that I have, um, like I have multiple play groups like here in Omaha and multiple tournaments here in Omaha. Um, so ideally I personally like to play probably at least like 20 matches a week. That's what I'd like to play, but I'd like to play like a lot of games. Um, I'm just like a grinder. Uh, like I go to two tournaments, at least two tournaments a week. And then like I try and come here for like friendlies. Um, I'm like always on ultra, like looking at like other side deck options or like other main deck options that I can play of as one of. Yeah. Um, just because I'm playing Let's Cut Loose and I'm playing a 56 card deck. Mm -hmm. So like I can see like one of is a lot easier. Um, so I'm just like messing with numbers, uh, numbers uh, and playing a lot of games. Another thing with when you said multiple play groups, because like you play here, you play Legendary Wolf, you play a GGG. Um, you uh. Another thing you can do is like reach out on social media, right? Um, jump on those Facebook groups that I mentioned in the topic before. Jump out on Discord that I mentioned. Once again, if you want uh, an access and invite, um, message Michael exclusively. He'd love to give you that <laughs> that homie hookup. Yeah, I've been trying to use more social media, just like on the channel wise. Yeah. And I said I was gonna start doing that. I haven't done it since the first time I did it. Hey, that's okay, man. It's so rough. Hey, it's it's because like tough. I do all of my work at like one o'clock in the morning when I get sure. back from work. Yeah. <laughs> so like I can make that Facebook post, but like. Two people are gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, just schedule it. Um, no, but I've been wanting. I, to I use, think to use Twitter too. Yeah, because we don't use our Twitter for. I anything. just don't know how to use Twitter. So, uh, if you know how to use Twitter, reach out to me. Or actually, at Michael, he would love to tell me you, after you tell him. Yeah, you can hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> um, are you on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, do you like use it a bunch? Uh, not as much anymore. Okay. No. But you can hit me up on Twitter if you want at Balloon Hater four hundred two. Balloon Hater. Yeah. You hate balloon. Oh. It was no, it was because of my ex girlfriend. You hate Jigglypuff. <laughs> well, yes, but um. You hate my babe. Back on topic. 
You should definitely use the resources that you have available to you. Reach out to uh, to us. Reach out to Chris Smith at Rockford. Reach out to anybody on Discord, and they would absolutely love to deck tech with you. Hey, this is what I'm bringing to Rockford. What do you think? Count your deck. Know your cards. Count your deck. Know your cards. That's my favorite thing to do is know the numbers of my cards. Yeah. yeah I agree. What a dork. Like, <laughs> I could list off my entire deck list in my side deck like right now, like the numbers I'm playing. and. Could you do that, Tyler, everything. for your deck? So I don't think I could do it for your deck either. Yeah, like I know I can my name deck. My, I can name my entire deck. I can't name the. I can like if I actually thought about it, I probably could. But like, I'm gonna change a bunch of it after we're done with this video, anyways. I was messing with that last night, and I know what I'm gonna change. Yeah. I also need to go get sleeves. I know every part about my deck. Good luck, at Rockford. I'm excited to see you all there. See you. Hydrate and eat food and shit. Yeah. Hey, don't eat so much during lunch. Yeah. Stay well fed, stay hydrated, uh, stay bring well, aspirin. Stay well kept. Uh, if you're prone yeah, to headaches, to miss aspirin. Bring, bring bring aspirin. aspirin for you. You, you I'm problems. very I'm very prone to headaches. Uh, I get fucked up at events. My brain boils. It's like it's fuck. It's Do I pay he, too life to make them burn too? I don't know. It's because he doesn't have to think that often. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. The game's hard. I'll play a Syndica slice on a two. Syndicate Slice on a 2. Uh, it's a Syndicate Slice on a 2 Send it. It's a 3 high for 10. Okay. <laughs> 3 high for 10. <laughs> Coffee Samba on a 3. I'll draw 2. Do you want to draw 2? Okay. Stone I'll give five. it stone. You're welcome. <laughs> so with the that. The next play says to play from hell. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So with that, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this episode of Study, Study Hall here on UFS University. <laughs> if you like the new format where we're not like doing like real breakouts, um, let me know in the comments down below. We're still experimenting, still trying to figure out like what's the most comfortable way for us to record and you for for you to get the content. Um, let us know what you guys want to see. Seven more subs. It'd be real rad if we hit yeah. that four hundred. That'd be that that'd be real real cool. So from all of us here at UFSU, stay learned. Get learned. Ben learned. See you guys. <laughs>